Hello and welcome to the webinar Tech Update, partial in Digital Nefcom Vietnam 2021. I am Ryan Funding, Marketing Head of Dream Tracks Vietnam, the leading Asia international exhibition organizer. And it is my great pleasure to present to you all Mr. Brian Lee from EDAC Tower. Hello, Brian. How are you? How are you today? Yeah, hi, everybody. Hey, Brian, I appreciate your time to join and uh, do the sharing with all the audience in the NEFCON Vietnam. Uh, You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, 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 all, right. all right. Before we start, uh, would you please share something about yourself and need that power to your own audience, please? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. Chào Bui Chiu. Good afternoon in Vietnamese, if I get it correctly. So, uh, I'm from Singapore. And uh, EDEC Power is a company that does power solutions. So we provide power solution for customers who need power, of course. And of course, other than power, if you spin off on the word power, they have many, many other things like uh, uh, energy stuff, uh, EMI stuff, batteries, and so on and so forth. So anything that needs to be uh, powered by something. So in order for it to move, uh, you can look for EDEC Power. All right, can't wait to hear. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brian and enjoy his presentation. Over to you, yeah. Brian. Thank you, Ryan. Let me share the screen there. I, I still can't share my screen. All right, I'll get technical team. Uh, can you support for uh, Brian to share the screen? Then? Okay, got it. Huh? Here you go. Okay. Oh, we have 31 participants. Not so bad, huh? Uh, so hi, good afternoon everybody. This is Brian Lee from Singapore EDEC Power. Uh, today I'm going to present the company to you guys. Uh, uh, nothing much. Now I will not talk about too many commercial things, but it's just about what I have in my company and what is the solution that I'm providing for customer in the uh, Southeast Asia or worldwide. Hey. So, EDEC Power Electronic established in 2008 in Singapore. So, we are a power electronic company doing business development and sometimes do it batteries. And recently, we just started with a brand called EP Power. Uh, the whole objective here is to uh, distinguish ourselves from EDEC Power. We want to do a brand, so a brand called EP Power that we actually uh, franchise other uh, supply line as a distribution company. So the company as a whole, uh, we design and develop ACDC switching power adapters. This is our own brand under the name called EDEC Power. Uh, so it is nothing but switching power adapters. This is where we started the business from since uh, 2008. Then from there, we moved into a uh, programmable ACDC source, ACAC and DCAC, power DC electronics, modular power solution, high voltage stuff, and so on and so forth. And then we also go into a custom built battery pack. In Vietnam, you are well known for building your own lead acid batteries. I do get some battery from you guys in Vietnam. I do the export from Vietnam and import into Singapore. And I have UPS and AVR. Uh, I don't know how is the situation in Vietnam. Maybe your, your utility is not stable. So you might need an AVR and of course with the UPS. And I do EMI filters for people who do power supply, inverters and so on and so forth. And I have thermal processing solutions, which is I specialize in parameter and thermal imager or camera system. Okay. So we are looking for a distribution partner in Vietnam. So if you are very interested and you are hungry for business, please let me know. Okay. Uh, switching power solution. That's where we where we do power adapters. So we have this. What I do day to day. So uh, I do those. Uh, uh, low power power adapters and I have those uh, high power up to uh, 300 watts adapters and I also do medical grade type of power adapters built in China of course then I do uh, battery solutions uh, where I buy sell from big China Japan or Korea then we actually make it into different types of uh, uh, sizes okay and some are for walkie talkies some are for toys you know and I also represent Duracell in this part of the world. So I can sell Duracell in terms of their alkaline batteries, coin cell batteries. And under Duracell, there's another spin off called Procell. So we do a uh, Procell battery as well. 
And apart from my uh, OEM business, I also have distribution business. You know, uh, I started the uh, the uh, I started business many years, many years back. Then we moved into distributions. Why? It's because uh, with the uh, calling from customers. You know, customers always like to work with someone they prefer, someone that they like. So we start to uh, answer to the customer call. You know, sometimes they need this kind of power solution. Sometimes they need that kind of uh, product. So we start to bring our own products into our company, uh, bring other products into the company. And it start to grow year on year. At the start, with only a couple of them. But now you see, uh, we have a lot. So uh, let me just go uh, do some introduction of this uh, supply, uh, of those suppliers that we have. Some are really big, some are small, but with the potential. Advanced Energy is a is a multi is a one point five billion dollar company. Uh, uh, it's a very big company that deal with semicon industry, especially on the manufacturing of the wafer. Uh, it's mainly on the power supply to the wafer, uh, 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 cheap plasma generator, and so on and so forth. Under their umbrella, there's a lot of company where we have as. Uh, high, high tech ultra volts on the high voltage stuff. We have Excelsis on the modular power supply, Trek and Monroe on the ESD product, Lumosan on the thermal sensor, thermal camera, and Artisan. Everybody know about Artisan on the power supply. So, under the AE semi processors, we can advance energy able to deliver any kind of power supply under the uh, semi con processors, be it on the wafer control on the uh, 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 cleaning of the chamber, iron implantations, everything. We are very good in the uh, semi processors. So under other things, uh, I believe most of you will know other things. They do power supply for many, many years. They are the legends in the in the power supply world. So they do um, all sort of power supply, you know, with the low cost type up to the uh, uh, data center type of power supply. And under Excelsis, it's also Excelsis was recently bought under the Advanced Energy uh, company. So what Excelsis does is the modular power supply. The modular power supply is a power supply that enables customers to have it configured at a very uh, at their own self. So this power supply can can is easily plug and play. So you can actually configure your output voltage based on what you need. As easy as that. Okay, so it's one of our power supplies that can actually allow customers to do their own cell configurations. As long as you get the body, you buy the output voltages module, you can actually configure yourself. We have a RTSync TCTC converter, mainly used in the telecom and data com, uh, data uh, burden uh, design. So we have all sorts of AC, DC to DC conversion, be it the isolation and non isolation type. We have the uh, high voltage DC DC converter. Uh, low power but super high voltage up to maybe uh, 10, 20 kb with 0.01 amp and so on and so forth. Unique bipolar and bipolar types. This unique DC DC converter high voltage type is actually used in a very uh, uh, unique applications. So we have a uh, mass spectrometrics, we have uh, uh, microscopy inspections, imaging and so on and so forth. I, I, to be frank, I don't see a lot of uh, R&D activity done in, uh, in Vietnam, I mean, uh, sad to say. But uh, what I'm hoping is that, you know, uh, with the uh, influx of a lot of uh, foreign company, you know, the R&D uh, capability in Vietnam will be growing, it will be growing better and better. Uh, we have Track and Monroe, which is mainly on the ESD and uh, ESVM uh, products. So these are mainly used in the uh, uh, semi-con world where they need to do some ESC discharge, uh, EMSs and uh, big factories, they will need this. And uh, we do thermal imaging and gas sensor. Thermal imaging, we have done a few projects in Vietnam, especially on the uh, power plants. So the power plants with the uh, big transformer, they need to monitor their assets. So they need a thermal imaging to actually monitor their transformer uh, far away from the city. So this is remote, remotely monitor. So anything happened to the transformer, it can be detected early by thermal imager, and uh, this will help them to save a lot of money. 
and we can also do a lot of uh, things like steel manufacturer, crystal, uh, people who build glasses, uh, oil and gas for flare monitoring, uh, semiconductor industry, structural and such, and such. Because as long as you are looking at thermal imaging, you are looking at different spectrum of what the human eye is looking at. You see, you are looking at something that uh, human eye cannot be detected. Okay, we call ourselves the uh, the predator, you know, the predator will see the uh, spectrum differently as us, so you can see it more clearly. And uh, we do a climate uh, chamber. Uh, apart from uh, my Singapore business, uh, I have an office in actually Philippines. So we do uh, a main, uh, mainly in the semicon industry in Philippines. And Philippines is well known for their semicons. Uh, you can name them Microchip, Cypress, Infineo. Uh, TI, Toshiba, blah, 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 they are all there. So uh, they build IC, you know, they build all the chipset. They will need all these uh, chamber. So we bring in uh, chamber into the Philippines most of the time. Huh? So uh, I have Magna Power on the programmable DC source. So uh, the good thing about Magna Power is that they are only focus on the high voltage and the high current in, in uh, segment. So how high? You uh, can go as high as uh, 1.5 kb in a single U, 10 kb in a 2U rack. So uh, it's pretty high if you compare to other, other similar uh, supplier. So magnet power is able to do high voltage and high current. So as per now, uh, what we can support is a 1U 10 kilowatts power supply. This is the best, now, best uh, power density in the world now, made in USA. So there are some of the options that we offer to our customer, like adding a blocking diode if you are driving a motor or batteries, you know, or putting a water cool uh, solution or regularizing. Uh, as well as TDI, so uh, we do PDU for customers. So we design a full power solution for customers. We built in like uh, IoT 4.0 with internet, uh, feed, uh, uh, feed with the internet with a feedback to your system and uh, put add in the EMI filters to customize into a full solution for machines. People like who do die bonding machine like uh, ASM, you know, they need a full PDU. They don't just buy power supply install into their machines. They need a full solution. So we also do, uh, do PTU for some of our customers. Uh, we have a military type of DC uh, DC module. So these are uh, meeting all the uh, military spec, uh, uh, meaning on the EMI and the uh, wide temperature range. Uh, we have automotive solutions. If you are if you are going into a, a EV or e motorcycle, I, I believe one day uh, Vietnam will move into the e motorcycle. You know, you have a yeah, maybe the second highest in terms of motorcycle or the or the first. So we can use this for charging, you know, on your EV batteries. We do EMI solutions. So EMI filter or suppressor components are mainly used in the uh, uh, equipment or machine that you need to meet a certain uh, uh, certain EMI criteria where you do exporting. So uh, uh, we can we can help customers to actually build the EMI circuit or solution to help them to actually pass that. Uh, uh, regulatory, so uh, we all can do a direct cross to Schaffner, Qualcomm, and App Uh We do U uh, UPSs, so under the brand called IMVT, so uh, I can support all kind of UPSs. Uh, you name it, I can have it. So as you can go as small as the one that uh, can power up your, your house uh, uh, laptop. Sometimes um, I don't know whether is it happening in Vietnam. You know, in Philippines. You know, some households do keep their own UPSs just in case something happens to their, their appliances. You know, if something such were to happen, to kill off their their microwave, their refrigerator, TV. Sometimes, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's good to have one so they can protect your assets. You know, one point you're not able, you are not able to do a warranty claim. Uh, we have a ET system who does regenerative power solution. So why is regenerative? Now, uh, now you go into energy saving stuff. Huh? Uh, a lot of big uh, factories are starting to uh, uh, to to reuse their their unwanted energy. 
for example, if you are doing some burning stuff, uh, your power supply, if you, are, if, you are, if you need a load to reject, to, uh, to draw from, uh, for example, uh, batteries, okay, especially those to build EV or batteries. So you need to reject, you, you use a load, normally use a resistor load to actually uh, drain off the battery. But I can actually get a regenerative uh, solution for you so that you can actually uh, reuse the uh, load, come, the energy coming from the battery and pump into your grid so that you can actually reuse the energy. So we call this a regenerative. It's just like a, a EV electric car when you, when, you, when you press onto the brake, you actually regen some, do a uh, regen, back, uh, do some charging onto the battery, you call that regenerative. Uh, so we do have this regenerative. Uh, it's uh, mainly used in the uh, company where you are heavily using, uh, doing burning, doing testing, 24 by 7. You know, people like Schneider in the Philippines, people like Ethan's, okay? They, 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 they need to have this because of their UPSs, they have batteries in their UPSs. So we, uh, this is a regenerative solution. Uh, we, if you are looking at a, a small programmable power supply because you have side constraints, so you can actually look for this uh, one U, one half U or two half U kind of uh, programmable power supply. So with a single rack, you can actually stack up a lot of uh, channel with a lot of output. And um, it's, it's a very uh, economical solution if you're looking at a multiple channel with a minimum of 750 watts per channel. Uh, we have another brand called APM from China. Okay, I, I don't know how, okay, if you are looking at my uh, product range, uh, I would offer customer a certain uh, uh, good products and also sometimes economical product, products because I know, especially in Vietnam, I understand you guys want something which is of a reasonable price. I, I do came across customer in Vietnam asking me, hey, do you have a second hand or use in it? I, I do un understand your concern. So that's why I bring some product that is, that is very, that, that, is, that is low cost, but without compromise of quality. Okay, that's why I have APM. I, uh, they have been with me for around three to four years and we are doing pretty well, especially in Philippines. Vietnam, yeah, we, we do sell some into Vietnam. So APM, we have the uh, AC programmable power supply, single phase and three phase type. We have a DC, uh, DC, DC programmable power supply. Uh, the one U, this is a three U and six U model. Then we have DC electronic loads, mainly used in the uh, batteries. Then we have uh, next we have the micro test, which is the uh, instrumentations, component tester, safety tester, transformer tester. So these are used used for customer who do. Uh, Especially in Vietnam, you don't need a lot, uh, uh, doing PCB, building out PCB, you know, building out transformers, you know, doing components, you will need all this kind of stuff. This is also good for you guys who have any budget constraints. You don't look for people like Roder and Swart, Keysight, uh, N9. They are branded expensive. We can call them the other Falari or the other Mercedes Benz in that area. No, we can still get Toyota and uh, of course uh, Honda, you know, this kind of brands to meet your spec. That's what I want to start where I'm coming from. And uh, we do power quality solutions. Power quality is very critical, especially when you're running a factory 24 by 7 and you cannot allow the machine to stop running. A lot of factory, for example, in Philippines, they have uh, generator, they have big UPS. I mean, in terms of big, we are talking about one to two megawatts of uh, UPSs, okay, with uh, two to three generators standby. Because any power failure will cause a big impact in their revenue. And also, uh, they will need a lot of, uh, uh, the downtime will actually cause them loss a lot of revenue too. So that's why they have putting a lot of investment onto their uh, back end, especially, you know, make sure that the power supply, the, the utility will not fail. Some even build their own substation just outside their factories. So we have this kind of customer in the Philippines. So uh, hereby we provide a lot of, we uh, provide a power, power quality solution to our customer. You know? 
So we have uh, all the search fighter, the sack fighter, you know, all these things stuff can cater for the entire factory or even go into a sub machines, you know, uh, we can actually provide you a solution for individual machines. And sometimes uh, we do have uh, a power quality solution that come with a backup batteries. For instance, if you are looking at some uh, uh, frequent search happening every day, sometimes one week, two times, you know, this what will, what will cause, this will cause the UPS to trigger on. Every time the UPS turn on, the battery will start to drain, kick in. So what the issue is that when you have this, this frequent on and off, the, the one that go down first is the batteries of the UPS. So you need to change the battery. You know, changing the battery is a pain in the ass and it's very expensive. Okay, um, a lot of people know. So that's why you know to prevent this, to prevent un unwanted uh, trigger of UPS, we put in backup batteries or super cap into my uh, AVR so that my AVR can actually give you a certain uh, time before the UPS start to turn on. So we are able to design a uh, ABR with a backup, one second, two second, by adding a super cap. Let's imagine oh, any any spike that come in is just like in terms of milliseconds. Okay, so this millisecond will be captured by my ABR. It will not interfere or kickstart the UPS. Okay, that's a, that's a solution coming from here. So we have we have done something in uh, in Philippines, uh, for a customer like Toshiba who built the uh, hard disk. So one more time, okay, it's coming to the end of my presentation. Uh, uh, one more time, I, I'm looking for a distribution, distribution partner in Vietnam. If you are interested, please let me know. And uh, this is my address in Singapore office and Philippines. So, come on, quick question and answer, it's free. Hey, thank you, Brian. Uh, I think what a great sharing with uh, many valuable knowledge. Uh, I believe that many. Uh, I, I think there's a lot of. Uh, hey, uh, Brian, did you? I think you were mentioned that you you are looking for a distributor. Is there any you know standard uh, you know standard point that you can share to the audience? Any no, standard right. level? To be frank, I I'm actually looking for someone or some company that are. Uh, as hungry as me, you know, uh, uh, I still, I, I'm still young. So maybe you've got another 20, 30 years to go. Yeah, maybe. So I want somebody who are, who feel hungry, who wanted to uh, uh, create something out of nothing or create, uh, uh, to make yourself uh, earn more for your family. You know, I just want something to be, someone to be, to be hungry and create more activities. That's it. It's not just for me, you know. It's for them because today I just creating a. What I have is a is a is a is a product line that I feel that uh, is good for Vietnam, and uh, why why I feel that I need to, uh, as I'm not a local guy, I need somebody local to help me to actually drive and create more opportunity in Vietnam. I, I, anybody, I think anybody from Singapore in Asia understand, doing business in Vietnam, directly especially for Singaporean concern, it's impossible. Sad to say, it's, it's impossible. You need somebody who are uh, there locally, helping me to uh, uh, talk to the Vietnamese customers, you know. Then from there, they can start to build out the relationships, build out the business and so on and so forth. So there's no minimum criteria. What I want is somebody who feel that they are, they, uh, they wanted to they are hungry. They wanted to uh, uh, help, you know, themselves uh, create some business and make a living. Yeah. Oh, great. That's very honest from you. Uh, Brian, I, I, I think I have uh, some of the question, not very technical, but uh, I think it's good for you. Uh, what makes EDAC powers, you know, most competitive? You know, compared to other brands in terms of like technology or you know cost, if it, cost efficiency or something else, can you, you know, share anything with that? 
I would say today EDAC, we are, I think what makes us different is that the group of the, the people in the company are young and they are, they have the drive, you know, when a uh, group, when you and yourself or an employee, an employer have the drive to try the business, uh, that makes a big difference, you know, rather than uh, uh, you have a group of people who are wrestlers, you know, who don't know what they want to do, that, that really make, you really lose out from that. And also what, what makes us different is that um, we have good product range. This good product range is, uh, is proven and tested for many, many years. And uh, they are big company. Uh, I mean, if, if, we, if, we, if, we, if you say on the, uh, on the other side, right? EDAC Power or EP Power, we are just a middleman. But today, this middleman is doing uh, pretty well. Uh, so that we want to extend this uh, know-how to people in Vietnam. So that they can actually help us to, uh, to create another uh, uh, legend in Vietnam. That's what I want to say. Okay. Totally agree, yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. That's very honest. Uh, and how do you see Vietnam markets in the manner of potential? Uh, how do you evaluate that the potential of Vietnam markets right now? Actually, huh, uh, as I say, you know, uh, what? Okay, okay, okay. But the problem is the language. Huh? The language barrier in Vietnam is still a big problem uh, which I've been seeing for so many years. Huh? In Asia, you know, why people go into Philippines, why people don't go into Vietnam, then why people come to Singapore and why people go into Malaysia. Is it Vietnam is only is only come out recently when uh, uh, especially when the uh, the China and US uh, trade war. Okay, Vietnam starts to uh, start to boom up. But uh, they have many other choices like uh, Philippines. The first choice is always in Philippines. If you are looking at the, uh, the Japanese, the Koreans, you know, Korean Japanese was also well known in the Indonesian. So what I see is that uh, when I'm still need to pack up actually on the uh, education. Okay, if you all can actually, uh, I, I do, I, there's, do a, there's still, a lot of opportunity there, uh, of course, undoubt. But then, uh, it's the uh, it's the it's the ease of you know doing business with the Vietnamese. It's, it's it's still not so easy because you need to have uh, the language barrier is is that one thing. The other thing is that you cannot go through direct uh, Vietnamese people to work with the Vietnamese because I believe one thing is on the uh, language barrier. And if we can get past this. Ah, I believe uh, Vietnam will be, will be very good. That's, that's how I feel. So, uh, anyways, I've been doing exhibition with Napcon for so many years. <laughs> we all, that's the only, not the only, la, India also. La, okay, Vietnam, I need to hire somebody as an interpreter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. in Vietnam, we need to hire an interpreter, you know, stick with me for the three days. I pay her <laughs> like 50, uh, 550 US dollar every day. Yeah. So she would just stick with me to do the interpretations. But it, it, it's not happening in uh, Malaysia, it's not happening in the uh, Philippines. Uh, yeah, so that's what I want to say. Yeah. Totally agree. Uh, in somehow, I, I, I really uh, understand. Uh, this is a, actually, we, we, we have been discussing on this uh, in many different uh, subjects uh, about the barriers for Vietnam to you know, grow faster. The language would be one of that. Uh, I totally agree with you. But but we 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 but we still see a lot of potential, that, you know, for growing business in Vietnam. Yeah. Uh, all right. I think yeah. That's 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 very good. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, if you really really hungry enough, like what Brian to share, and really ready for this big kind of business, contact with Brian. Stay with Brian. You engage with Brian, and together you guys will develop very strong business in terms of the power and energy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Brian, for that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. I see that. Uh, if you guys want my slides, you know, just drop me in, uh, come to the EDEC power booth, uh, give me a text. So I will just send you the, uh, 
the uh, uh, presentation. So uh, feel free, guys, feel free to contact yeah. me. And uh, I really hope to work with somebody who is uh, hungry and genuine enough for Vietnam market. Yeah, sure. Uh, yes, you heard from Brian. If you're really interested in, in this business cooperation, uh, just drop out the notes or uh, visit EDAP Power booth, online booth, I mean, and drop him a note and you will get whatever you want. <laughs> uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for, 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 for the sharing from Brian Lee, uh, you know, from EDEP Powers. Uh, I really hope that you all have taken all the necessary information from the sharing and hope you have a lot of interesting experience with uh, uh, Brian content. Uh, and uh, once again, I, I wish to express to, uh, my appreciation for your kind attendance and also uh, joining and do the sharing uh, today with us. Uh, I really, you know, on behalf of the organizer committee from NEPCON Vietnam, I sincerely wish you all the best health uh, with Prosperous and always stay strong, stay hungry to grow up your business more and more. Thank you very much again. Hey, uh, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, hey, yeah. those at, are you able to see who's the attendees? You able uh, to download the data for me? Uh, I'm going to check with the technical team and I will back to you. Uh, because uh, actually our section is public op open for public, so uh, probably oh, okay. we, yeah we don't have any sign up for that. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Brian. Again, and ladies and gentlemen, don't go so fast. There's more to come next. So we have the prize for the first game provided to you next. Stay tuned with us for the final round. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome back to the Fuse game. Now that we have our final winner shape, which is the Wi-Fi shape, we are so excited to share with you some of the amazing prizes that you can win. First of all, if you are our third place winner, if you are an exhibitor, you will get 5% discount for a booth at NEPCON Vietnam 2022 and a 50% discount for one business consultation slot with Business Innovation Zone. If you are a visitor, you will have a 50% discount for one business consultation slot with Business Innovation Zone. Also, you will receive a one ticket for VIP lounge at NEPCON Vietnam 2022 on-site show. And lastly, you will have a one voucher or phone card worth 200,000 Vietnamese dong. If you are our second place and you are an exhibitor, you will receive 5% discount for a booth at NEPCON Vietnam 2022 and a free slot for consultation with Business Innovation Zone. And if you are a visitor, you will receive one free slot for consultation with Business Innovation Zone, one ticket for VIP Lounge at NEPCON Vietnam 2022 on-site show, and one voucher or phone card worth 300,000 Vietnamese dong. And last but not the least, if you receive the first place and you are an exhibitor, you will receive a 10% discount for a booth at NEPCON Vietnam 2022 and a free slot for consultation with Business Innovation Zone. And if you are a visitor, you will have a one free slot for consultation with Business Innovation Zone, two tickets for VIP lounge at NEPCON Vietnam, on-site show for 2022, and a one voucher or phone card worth 500,000 Vietnamese dong. Okay, so without further ado, let's draw our three lucky winners from our roulette. All right, let's go ahead and spin the video. And all right. all right, may we call on Mr. Ryan to announce our third place winner? All right, congratulations. Um, now moving on to the second place winner. Let's go Let's ahead. Go ahead and... And... Mm -hmm. 
Again, Again we would like, like on, on Mr. Mr. Ryan. Ryan. Please announce our second place winner. We are just have to tell La Koshini Xiao. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Congratulations to our, our second place winner. winner. Last but not the least for our, our, our first winner. 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 Okay, so, okay, so maybe so we call, call on Mr. Ryan. Ryan. Please announce, announce our, our final winner for our Fuse game. Và người Công, cái uh, Fuse Game ngày hôm nay của chúng ta là Phan Nhất hoặc Phan Nhật Lưu Ok, so congratulations to our three final lucky winners Thank you so much to everyone who joined us today And to those who did not win or have been eliminated too early Please do not worry because we will still have this game until Friday so please join us then to have more chances of winning. Thank you so much and have a good day everyone.